And coming up first, he got a doctorate in Eastern Europe. He is the man with the planet. His name is Dan. Give it up for Dr. Szymaszewski. All right, coming up next, we have the man himself. He makes a lot of dough. He got an afro. Give it up for Malik Majestic George. And last but not least, the intelligent, the handsome, the ladies love him. It is yours truly, the announcer, Miles Mystical George. Oh no, what's this? The hell? Oh, it is, we're coming in with a steel chair. It is lab, lab ready. Save yourself. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome to Some People Might Be Incorrect. It used to be you are wrong, but that's not politically correct anymore. I'm Dr. Timoshevsky. You could trust me because I have a foreign last name. These are my associates, Mr. Miles and Mr. Malik. People think because we're twins, we can feel each other's pain, but watch! See? I felt nothing. And this is Labrad Lenny. My job is to show you how not knowing is not safe. Now, which one of these is poisonous? Um, the snake. Why do you say that, young child? Because it's, um, poisonous. No, 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 you confused child. Associate! <laughs> Snakes are, for the most part, not poisonous. They are usually venomous, as are jellyfish and arachnids, which include spiders, tarantulas, and scorpions. These organisms must bite or sting in order for their toxins to be effective. In fact, venom that is ingested into the stomach has minimal to no effect. On the contrary, poison must be inhaled, ingested, or absorbed through the skin to be effective. Examples of poisonous animals are frogs, pufferfish, and the monarch butterfly. As with the process for a snake bite, many people think they should suck the poison out, but if it was actually poison and you sucked it out, both of you would... Let's not go there. Anyway, it, this process only works for venom because if venom goes into the mouth, it will not affect you unless there's a cut. For a simple explanation, please watch our brilliant demonstration. Yo, where's the snake at? Dan, can you kill it? Kill what? The oh, snake. oh God. <laughs> Got it. If an animal is venomous, like the snake for example, if you touch it, you will be okay. This means that if it were to bite you, toxins would be injected into your body. Enjoy this presentation. He is getting bitten. <laughs> venom, venom, venom. Look at Frog, can we kill this one? No, 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 no. Just sweep it out. We got it. On the other hand, when you touch this frog, you are not okay. Observe. We don't have all day. To recap, when an organism is venomous, you only be affected by the toxins when you are bitten. On the other hand, when an organism is poisonous, you will be affected by toxins when you touch the organism for long periods of time without washing your hands. Thank you for watching our brilliant and well-executed demonstration. Shut up! This is my part! We interrupt this broadcast for Fast False Facts. Here we talk about misconceptions that may not affect you, but they are interesting to know about. Here's a time to take a break, relax, and see how many of these you once thought differently. First, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, and most nuts are actually fruits. The term vegetable applies to edible plant parts that don't have seeds. 
The plural of octopus is octopuses, not octopi or octopodies. We speak American English, not Greek, not Latin, and not British. One cactus, two cacti. One octopus, two octopuses. Bananas grow on herbs. No woody tissue, not trees, but they're still fruit though. Dolphins are a subgroup of toothed whales, including the orca. Baleen whales are the filter feeders. Evolution is real. Period. Polar bear fur is colorless. Their skin is black. It reflects light to look white. A scientific theory is not speculation. It's an explanation for many hypotheses. And the government is lying to you! They are actually being controlled by- And we are out of time, Lab Rat Lady! Now, we have to get back to our scheduled programming. Let's go! The mechanisms that animals use to deliver toxins are based on the type of toxins that they have. Venomous vipers use a delivery system that is in their fangs so they can administer the, the toxic venom that they have into the bloodstreams of their victims directly. And what about the poisonous dog? <laughs> Don't you mean the poisonous frog? <laughs> I'll go back to my dwelling now. Hell yeah, you will. Poisonous frogs have poison glands that produce toxins all over their body, including the skin. This is why they are poisonous to the touch. Coloration of animals is often confused by the public too as to whether it means venomous or poisonous. Take this mildly deadly coral snake for example. How mild? Like a ghost pepper spicy? Or a media buffalo sauce. Well, after consulting my um, handy uh, buffalo sauce comparison chart comparing venoms of snakes and buffalo spices, this segment was brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Go now. Wait a minute. Didn't I lock you up already? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, Animals can have coloration if they are poisonous or if they are venomous. The poison dart frog has bright colors because it is poisonous. The coral snake has bright red and yellow stripes because it is venomous. Both are warning signs to other animals to stay away. Please, stay away! Think of the children! Why do you keep getting out? And now we're going to have a special segment from DDC. Dr. Daniel Suzuki. The consensus of the masses is that venom is a more toxic form of poison. Articles have shown that when they use venom or venomous, they are really trying to exhibit a highly poisonous creature. That simply is not the case. Poison and venom are not the same thing. Yes, they are both toxins, but they are not directly related. Just like the false relationship the media has put on humans and chimpanzees, as humans, we did not directly evolve from chimpanzees, but we did evolve from a common ancestor. Wait, hold up, hold up, quiet on the set. That is the most intelligent thing I have ever heard you say. Got anything else to add? Cheesecake. In order to test whether individuals understand the difference between poisonous and venomous, 64 teenagers and adults were surveyed if they could first name one poisonous animal and then name one venomous animal. When actually named one poisonous animal, 18.75% gave a correct poisonous response, while 81.25% gave an incorrect poisonous response. The correct poisonous animals g given were frog and toad, while the incorrect answers were snake, jellyfish, platypus, spider, scorpion, fire ant, lionfish, and none. When being actually named one venomous animal, 90.63% gave a correct venomous response, while 9.38% gave an incorrect venomous response. The correct venomous answers given were snake, spider, insect, fish, scorpion, and venomous frog. The incorrect venomous answer given was a normal frog. After these answers were given, 24.5% realized that they answered the poisonous question incorrectly after hearing the word venomous. 75.5% did not realize that they made a mistake on their own. Many people often confuse the differences between venomous and poisonous in social media. It's important to bring awareness of these differences to limit this ignorance. For example, here are two images of signs warning people to beware of snakes. This clearly identifies how the poison sign was mislabeled to state the fact that people should beware of venomous snakes. The 
the definitions of poisonous and venomous are often used as synonyms, even though they convey different meanings. Venom, a toxic substance produced by some animals, as snakes, scorpions, or bees, that is injected into prey or an enemy chiefly by biting or stinging and has an injurious or lethal effect, or a substance that is poisonous. This definition is mislabeled as venom is not poisonous. This dictionary is mislabeling the definition of a venom and is really defining a toxin. The real definition of a venom is a toxic secretion in animals that is actively delivered to the target organism either to paralyze or incapitate or else to cause pain as a defense mechanism, commonly include protein and peptide toxins. It is important to ensure that the dictionary updates this definition to ensure that there is no more confusion about this misconception. This confusion is also shown throughout comments of an assortment of videos that have relevance to this topic. This confusion in the comments provokes the idea that the topic may not have been thoroughly explained and many people still have difficulty in understanding the topic. Even after catching the 5 minute educational video, this person was still confused as if sucking the poison out works. Venom has the ability to be sucked out while poison does not. You're a very hard worker, Boris. Have some water. Even films have found a way to misuse the meanings of poisonous and venomous, as shown in the upcoming video of Mean Girls. When you get bit by a snake, you're supposed to suck the poison out. That's what I had to do. Suck all the poison out of my life. Once again, this example begs the question of whether to suck out the poison or the venom. So when are we going live? Well, the answer is venom! The hell? So no, no, do not suck out the poison, like this song and album name might suggest. Here is the toxin dance, the octopus, the jellyfish, the snake, the frog, the bumblebee, the monarch, the chicken, cactus. They're, They're not! not. <laughs>